All right, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be discussing how to move, copy, and overwrite files in Python using the framework Shuttle. And this will primarily be done in Windows. I think it works in Linux as well. There's just a couple of features, extra features that the uh, Linux has, uh, the Python Shuttle has when it comes to Linux. So I will also probably in the future make a Linux version if needed. All right, so we'll be uh, discussing Shuttle and as I go through the tutorial, there's a lot of gotchas and issues and things you have to be careful of when dealing with uh, moving and copying files uh, via Shuttle. So I'll be going through all those issues as well. So hopefully um, you won't run into those issues. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll just run these three. And we have a source, which is folder A, and the destination is going to be folder B. So let me just switch. Let's look at folder A, it contains two files, and it contains uh, a new folder an empty folder and folder B contains nothing. So folder A will be the source and folder B will be the destination. All right, so let me switch back. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is just look at the contents of source using Lister and we'll save it to files. And as you can see, it's file one, file two, and new folder. We just saw that a few seconds ago. So those are all saved to files now. And if we look at files two, which is uh, the contents of destination, it's empty. So that's just reinforcing what we just saw a few seconds ago. All right, now I'm going to change the directory into the source directory. And this is just so I don't have to type in the full path when I move files or copy files. I can just use for file and files instead of getting the entire path. Because remember, these are just the file names and not the entire path to the uh, file name. All right, this is just reading the contents of file and file two. File one says, I am file one. I am file one again and file two is empty. And of course, we get a permission denied, permission error, because new folder, you cannot read new folder, which was an empty uh, folder. So just in case you guys forgot, uh, folder A has an empty folder and two files. All right, so let me close that and we'll switch back. I keep forgetting to switch back. All right, switched back, all right, good. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is copy. So we'll take each of the files from files. Remember, we saved the contents of uh, source A into files, and we'll be copying all that into the destination, which is currently empty. So if we run this, we get a permission error, of course, and that's because new folder. So that's the first sort of gotcha. Copy.file only copies files. It does not copy uh, subfolders, directories, etc. So you can only copy files. And in this case, we copied only the files, and then when we ran into the directory, we ran into an error. So let me just show you, uh, here we go. So folder B now has two files, because we were able to copy them. All right, so let's switch back. All right, if you have a, a folder containing a lot of files and folders, and you don't, you don't want to run into this error, one thing you can do is os.path is file. So this checks if it's a file. And there's a, a equivalent version for directories called os.path.isdir, which will check for directories. So you can check if a, a certain uh, item is a file, and then if it is a file, then you will use uh, shuttle.copy. Okay, so if we run this, sh we should get no permission error. But here is the second gotcha. And I can just write that. Sorry. Second gotcha. And this is that you overwrite files. So when you copy, and destination already contains the files, those files are going to be overwritten. Let me just switch here back to scene. All right. And just to prove this, and we will overwrite. All right. Uh, I could just use control, hold for. All right. So let's just switch back to desktop, and I'll run this again, and you'll see. Switch back. Okay. Um, and we will go to folder two and you'll see I am file one and we will overwrite. So essentially, because these files are already here, they will be overwritten. Switch back. All right. So that's one thing you have to be careful of. If you're copying files into destination, they will be overwritten. All right. So now that we've taken care of copy, what we want to do is move. So we're going to be showing shuttle.move and some of the sort of gotchas with that as well. All right, so shuttle.move 
as opposed to copy is not going to just copy the files into destination. Those files will actually be moved from, desti uh, from source to destination. So source will lose those files because they'll be transferred to destination. Yeah, so let me just show you that. So the first thing I will have to do is I'll have to delete the files in folder B. And I'll show you why in a bit. All right, uh, so we'll switch back to desktop. Okay, so for file and files, if the file is a file, we're going to shuttle.move file to destination. I'll run this. Okay, and you see no problems. So I'll go back. You'll see folder A contains nothing and folder B contains the two files. So they've been successfully moved. Now I'll just copy, not cut, I'm going to copy back here. So folder A and folder B now have the files. Okay, so now here's one thing you have to be careful of, something that, uh, an issue we run into with shuttle.move. So now with shuttle.move, if the destination already contains the files, if you try to run this, you will get a destination path that already exists. Okay, ah, I have to switch back, oops, okay. So let me switch back and just in case, so uh, with shuttle.move, um, once again, you cannot move files to the destination if the destination already contains those files. So destination. Now to avoid this problem or to resolve this issue, there's a little trick I found on Stack Overflow, I think, by creating the destination, the full destination. So what I mean by the full destination is you get the destination and not just the folder name, what you want the file name to be when it's created. So in this case, we want the file name to be the same as the file name uh, above. Uh, the file name from the source. So I'm actually not going to move it. I'll just print out the statements of full destination and destination so you can see the difference. And if I run this, you'll see the original uh, destination was this, and now the new destination is this plus the file name. So for, for each file name, we're getting the, we're adding the file name as well to the destination. So by doing this, you can actually overwrite the current file when uh, moving files from uh, folder A to folder B. To do that, we're going to just uncomment this and I will switch back and make some changes. Okay, so currently folder A has these two and what we'll do is we'll add some stuff to folder two, a uh, file two. I am file two and I am going to overwrite um, despite being moved. Okay. So now we'll just check um, folder B. And as you can see, folder B has uh, file two has nothing. All right, so now I will switch back. And now we're going to, I've been uncommented this out. So we're going to run this and we run into no errors. And if we switch back, check A, everything's been moved. If we check B, everything has been overridden. I'm going to be, I'm going to override this by the So so that's another issue that we that's another issue you have to be careful of and we just resolved that. So that pretty much goes over the basics of move, copy, and overriding files in Python using shuttle. This was mainly uh, primarily Windows based, but I think most of this works in Linux as well. Alright, so that's it with this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Always leave comments and feedback. Alright, thank you and I'll see you guys next time.